seen a couple of outbreaks and you know, worked with them you know, understand the concepts of operating, continuing to operate during a, a pandemic and the, the requirements of social distancing and flattening the curve, all these things are very familiar to me. I am the state surgeon for Maryland National Guard um, and also the commander of the medical detachment. And for the most part, for the last 30 or 40 years, I've been doing military medicine activities, either with the Henry M. Jackson Foundation or in uniform with the National Guard. So the National Guard's response during this pandemic on a medical perspective is really about supporting others, supporting the state. We're supporting the Maryland Department of Health and the Maryland Integrated Emergency Managers Services System, the MIMS. These are really the lead, the lead government agencies within the state that are helping us identify which facilities need help, coordinating with those facilities in advance. So what we've been focusing on here in Maryland is taking care of the people who are at increased risk but are in small communities where they can't move very easily, like in skilled nursing facilities like nursing homes or in some of the uh, fragile children's communities and even in some of the uh, assisted living communities that we have. We're a tool for the state, for those agencies, to help offset the problem of the skilled nursing facilities and to make sure that those people are taken care of properly and that we help reduce the burden of additional people coming into the emergency room when we can prevent it. The great thing about being in the National Guard is that you're helping people close and local to you and you're helping people that you know and it's during, most, for the most cases, it's during an emergency. The fact that we were all at the door show up and help people, um, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's serving people is why I went into medicine and it's why I went into the National Guard. My favorite part of the job is working with other people and helping other people, whether it's here with my staff or with the soldiers and airmen that I interface with or it's working with the leadership. I'm happy to be here and happy to be helping.